poor Uranus. It's got rather boring clouds, truth be told. So there wasn't a lot to see with the cameras. Passing close to the planet, Voyager's sensors reveal why Uranus is so featureless. Temperatures here are the coldest of any world in the solar system. There's simply not enough heat to drive the storms seen on Jupiter and Saturn. Uranus is an entirely new class of planet. An ice giant. And more surprises were to come. Uranus has rings. We knew long ago from telescopic observations the rings were there at Uranus. We didn't know their configuration uh, or their shape. Voyager begins to explore the ring system and spots something curious in the shadows. Two moons, Cordelia on the inner edge of the brightest ring and Ophelia on the outer edge, help to organize the system. Particles within the rings can be moved inwards or outwards as these tiny objects called shepherd moons whose gravitational force can shape and sculpt the rings themselves. But it's the orientation of the orbits of these moons and the rings themselves that singles out Uranus as the strangest of worlds. Uranus looks bizarre. The rings, rather than looking like that when you look through a telescope, they're actually orbiting up and over the top of the planet. The whole thing is tipped like a spinning top. This bizarre orientation hints at an unusual past. Since the beginning, everything in the solar system has been circling in the same direction. It begins with a vast cloud of material that orbits the young sun. Over time, the material draws together, forming each of the planets. Today, they all orbit the sun and spin on their axes in the same counterclockwise direction as that primordial cloud. Except for Venus and Uranus, which spin in the opposite direction. But Uranus is even stranger because the entire planet is on its side. This was a really strange system. So why is Uranus so tipped on its side? If a roughly Earth-sized object smashed into Uranus late in its formation history, then that would have had the proper amount of momentum to basically knock it on its side.
and the collision may also help to explain another of Uranus's mysteries. Why the planet is so cold. That impact presumably relinquished all of that internal energy that the planet had when it first formed and has left it as a relatively dead and sluggish world. Much is learned during this brief encounter. But Voyager's strangest discoveries are yet to come. <laughs>